light welterweight has been absolutely outstanding. Eslam Mohamed from Italy. Competing in his third world championship here. He's all smiled because he's produced a tournament of a lifetime. And in the second preliminary round, he produced a massive upset, as did this man, from that in a moment. Freddy Rojas from Las Vegas, Nevada, is just 19 years of age, part of a young American squad. Upper cutting his way confidently towards the boxing ring. As he shadow boxes ahead of this, the biggest bout of his tournament to date. And these two men between them have blown the 64 kilogram welterweight bracket wide open with their fantastic displays. Because Eslam Mohammed eliminated the tournament number one seed and reigning Olympic silver medalist Lorenzo Sotomayor, the towering figure formerly from Cuba, now representing Azerbaijan, picked up repeatedly by the right hand. And this man, Freddy Rojas, well, in the previous stage, he beat the defending champion from 2015. Vitaly Donetsev eliminated 4-1, and between them, these two men have opened up the 64-kilogram light welterweight division and are now one win away from a world championship medal. So we're underway then with the 64 kilogram light welterweight division and this one between boxers from Egypt and the United States of America. The shaven headed figure wearing red is 27 year old Eslam Mohammed, a soldier from Cairo in Egypt and his opponent is 19 year old Freddy Rojas from the United States, ranked number 23 in the world. He's the reigning US national champion and finished with a bronze medal in his recent America's Continental Championships in Tegucigalpa, Honduras. Mohamed came away with a silver medal at the African Championships in Brazzaville, Congo. Rojas is tall, rangy, isn't he? One of those awkward southpaws, stands tall, very difficult to get to if he's sitting on his back foot. Mohamed here just is showing signs already of having problems of closing that gap down and getting to his man. Look at the height and the reach Rojas has got. You see Mohamed there just trying to try and land it. That was, a, that was a better right hand from him. But Rojas, he's a nightmare, isn't he? Tall fella. And that tactic we saw from Mohamed was exactly the weapon he used to defeat Lorenzo Sotomayor in the previous round, who's even taller than Rojas. Yeah. Six foot one, long towering arms, and when he was snaking out the straight shot as Rojas gets through with a good right jab, the cat, the timing on Mohamed's right hand was sublime all contest long. Only single shot success, but he landed more eye-catchingly and effectively and frequently than did the reigning Olympic silver medalist, and he was eliminated. Didn't agree with the decision. But here we are at the quarter-final stage, and it's the Egyptian boxer who is one win away from a medal. Well, he needs a similar performance here, Mohamed, doesn't he? It's the timing uh, of the right hand, Ronald, which is absolutely crucial. And it was spot on against Sotomayor, but he's got to produce another similar performance. And Rojas, he, he knows all about his opponent here. And he's probably started this contest a little bit better than the man in red. Mohamed's probably waiting a little bit too long. He's looking for this right hand, but it's just not happening yet for him. And maybe he's got to up the tempo a little bit to make things happen. And out and out, back foot, back foot performance against Lorenzo Sotomayor. Punctuated by raiding attacks. You can see him waiting, looking to counter and launch that backhand. And was so effective, was being so effective for him earlier in the tournament. It's his third appearance at an Aiba World Boxing Championships here. Competing in 2011 and 2013. And in the previous occasions, he was eliminated at the first preliminary round. So to make it through to the quarter-final stage, with a terrific display by him, must have come into this full of confidence. Is he being outworked here by the teenager from Las Vegas? He ran on to another South four left. Well, that's a good right hand from Mohammed. Solid shot out of that orthodox stance. Let's see if we can listen in to Billy Walsh. Well, I think the Americans caught uh, 
Rookin Boxer and the camper have got the tactic spot on here, Ronald, at the moment. Rojas is standing tall, standing, uh, sitting on that back foot, and uh, inviting Mohammed in. The captain, as he's coming forward, looks, he, he's boxing at range here, the man in blue. It's much better. Is the odd sign that, that uh, Mohammed can get through with the right hand. We've seen it right at the end of the round. He got the timing right, it was a good right hand, but he didn't do enough in that first round. So the first round went to the American, and they got the tactic spot on in that first round. Stand tall, box him at distance. There's my old friend Billy Walsh, he knows his stuff. <laughs> Second round, 64 kilogram light welterweight division. Freddy Rojas was competing at the World Youth Championships in St. Petersburg last year. Continues his maturation here at the Senior Championships. Just one win away. With a medal. It's another very patient display. Such a tall fighter for the weight that he often operates at this tempo. It's a clever display at the moment from Rojas. What he's doing, Ronald, with, the, with his jab, you see, when he's jabbing, he's stepping backwards instead of stepping forward, so he's maintaining the gap all the time. And that's the problem that Mohammed's got here. He can't close it down. That was a little bit better for Mohammed, but that's the problem, look. Rojas, with the right jab, he steps backwards and maintains a gap between himself and his opponent. Clever boxing. Mohammed still seems to be putting all of his eggs into the metaphorical basket of that right hand that seems to be the punch that he's looking to favor to get him through this contest here it is again lo loading up on it but missing by some distance as he did just there you see that punch is much more effective when the south ball's coming forward now he's got a chance of landing it but while he's jabbing and moving backwards it'll be a rare occasion for Mohammed to land the right hand basically because his opponent's moving away from the punch as it's being thrown To make, going to have to make some type of adjustment. Mohamed left hand over the top was a cuffing shot, but Rojas then retreated behind that trusty right jab once again. Mohamed waiting, waiting, waiting. More than half the round is gone. And he's pecking, poking single shots from Rojas that have been keeping the points piling up. He needs a change in tactic now for Mohamed. What he's got to do, Ronald, here, he's got to step on the gas and get up closer to his opponent with fast feet and then probably target the left hook. The Americans know that this fellow's got a very good right hand and that's why Ro has his boxing at distance. So Mohamed's got to change things. He's got to quicken up the feet and there, look, he wasn't too far away with that left hook. That's the punch he should be targeting now. Rojas trying to rip long left hands to the body of cuffing right hook got through on the inside for Mohammed, but surely he doesn't want to be hold, doesn't want to be holding there. He wants to be working away if he gets inside the long reach. Again, he launches up the zooper of a right hand but can't find the range. Rojas remaining concentrated. It's a wide held stance, but again the distance between himself and his opponent is so great that it will take. Well, it's going to take quick feet to close the gap first of all, and Mohammed's not demonstrating that ability so far. Just waiting a little bit too long here, Mohamed, on the outside. That's why he has got to change his tactics. Right hand landed as the bell was sounding from Mohamed. But again, we can count the successes that he's having. Practically on one hand, he did get through occasion with the right hand, but this man kept pecking away. The more you see when you're you're coming out, you're seeing it. You can see the attacks going. It, it's clever boxing. So, you see, he just fell short with the punch there. And that's because Rojas is on the outside, moving away from him. But it, it, it's clever boxing from the American here. He's boxing to tactics. He's listening to his corner. It's not a devastating display, but he's doing enough to win this. Just keep it just like that. Oh, Mohamed 
Volkov is still eager to get this third and final round underway, and I was anticipating that he was going to charge like a bull from a gate to begin this third and final stanza, but instead it's the same measured approach that he's demonstrated in rounds one and two. And I'm not sure that this type of tempo is going to get it done for the man in red, short of finding a knockout shot. That's better from him. A little bit more dynamism with the feet, landed a right hand, got back to distance, but surely needs to step on it again and increase the pressure on the tall teenage fighter from the USA. He needs sustained pressure, Ronald, or he needs to double up his attacks. So he's going to go in two and maybe three phases even. Two or three shots, slight pause, then go again, slight pause, then go again. It'll just be a constant nightmare. But at this pace again, um, Rojas is, is, is dictating the pace, clever boxing on the outside, and keeping the gap. That's the most important thing for the American here. Keep that gap between himself and Mohammed. There's a good right hand for Mohammed and just the goal. That's a wonderful back foot counter from the man in blue. But you perhaps can see in the back of Shotman. Mohammed is trying to increase the tempo now because his corner man is gesticulating animatedly, waving his arm, saying, listen, time's ticking. Take it to this guy. You can see him in the background there by the turnbuckle. Action is in the ring, but look at the coach imploring Mohammed to come forward. And he lands with a good right hand, but surely he needs more of that. The has been all out of time, isn't it? If Rohan has to just stay on the outside. But Mohammed, he is getting closer, that's a little bit better, but he's got to go again, and that's why he's corner. You know, they want him to come forward, he's waiting again, a little bit too long, Ronald. He should be on his front foot. And that's what his corner are continually telling him. Hey, go, go, go. Military man, away from the boxing ring, says fitness shouldn't be a problem. For Eslam Mohammed, the soldier from Cairo, but he's continuing to wait, and time surely isn't on his side. He's got to empty the tank here in pursuit of his place on the podium. Just a basic double jab, double jab, get the feet into rings, then launch the right hand, and then keep the pressure going. Rojas is just almost beguiling him with the threat of that right jab. It's been a clever display, Ronald. From Rojas and Billy Walsh, the, um, the American um, tournament the coach, rather head coach. He's done a fantastic job. He tactically, he's got it spot on. But the lad himself has had to carry out the tactics, and he's done it to perfection here. Closing seconds, and surely Mohammed needs a knockout. He's landed the more forceful punches, but there have been so few of them. Surely they haven't been enough to score the round in his favour. And when his coach and corner were imploring him to pour on the pressure, he only did so in glimpses and couldn't sustain it. And in the meantime, the pecking, poking punches continue to be pushed out by Rojas. And the American teenager boxed to order there. Well, Esla Mohammed raising his right fist. But it's the feather-like punching of this man. There was more of it, more accuracy. I feel that should be enough to see him through, but and again, it's down to the judges now. And maybe they favor the power punching of the man in red. But the boxing of Freddie Rojas was just what his corner ordered. I think there were times there, Mohamed did land a couple of good shots in that last round. Um, there was a small sense of urgency in his work, but throughout the contest, it was a very good tactical display by the American boxer, Rojas. Look, he's he's very pleased with himself, and uh, I'd have to agree with him. I think uh, he, he's won the contest. I'll be very surprised if Mohamed gets it, but we shall see. A terrific display of measured boxing to order by Freddie Rojas. Credit to Esla Mohamed for the tournament that he has produced here in his third appearance at the Senior World Boxing Championships. But unlike Rojas, who boxed just as his corner instructed him to, Esla Mohamed couldn't carry out the sustained pressure that his corner was seeking. And this.